Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap Live Trading Webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Uh, we'll be doing live analysis here. We do it every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. Webinar. This is at um, <coughs> 10 a.m. And then uh, tomorrow, uh, Jay Trader, Stocks Trader, he'll be, he will be trading live uh, at 10 a.m. And then uh, Scott Bolsini, Futures Trader, uh, at 10 a.m. as well. So uh, we have an educational course, and then we have these events here to complete your education. Uh, this is all included. Um, well, it's all free. So uh, uh, we think we offer a pretty, pretty high tier uh, education. Uh, so please, uh, you know, take advantage of it. Uh, come to these events, come to our Discord channel uh, and uh, ask questions, uh, uh, throw up some uh, screenshots, uh, take a look at uh, what's going on in there uh, and uh, learn, learn about trading. Uh, put these pieces together uh, and become an expert trader. Um, all right, uh, general disclosure, uh, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so let's uh, move on. Uh, and um, uh, just to... Uh, a quick note on some things. We just came from the, uh, 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 sorry for being a little bit late. We had a um, uh, webinar in German uh, with Oliver Sparring. We've done that now a couple times. Uh, so anyone interested in that, uh, we'll have the uh, recording up pretty soon. And it will include, once we um, can you know get it going here, it will include uh, English subtitles. All right. Uh, yesterday, we also had an event. Uh, I don't know if you guys are aware um, uh, we are having a trading competition it is already closed off uh, for those that uh, wish to join uh, we'll have to wait for the next one uh, but uh, we had an event yesterday it was open mic uh, and uh, it was uh, going through um, breaking down uh, the market uh, the crypto markets uh, and uh, looking for opportunities etc so uh, answer your questions uh, and you know what what to uh, look for or you know what uh, are considerations in your trading all right enough said we'll do that again uh, it will be Wednesday it won't be today uh, but we'll do it uh, tomorrow all right at uh, not sure yet if it's going to be at 2 or 3 or 2 30 because uh, uh, we did it at 2 and it was kind of slow uh, so uh, everything kind of picked up a little bit later anyway let's move forward let's look at this S&P Okay, well, uh, CPI data. Uh, <coughs> the market is extremely uh, sensitive here to uh, interest rates, uh, and uh, CPI is something that the Fed looks at uh, in, uh, in detail. So uh, this is a big one, uh, and you can see the result here. All right, so we dropped uh, uh, pretty quickly here, uh, 40, 50 points. Uh, yeah, about 50 points or a little bit more. Uh, but uh, let's put this into the bigger picture perspective. All right, so we know uh, that uh, even here in the cash open, a little bit of volatility back and forth, we're still going down. All right, now the numbers uh, in the CPI, it was the core number that uh, everyone's reacting to. It was quite high uh, compared to, um, um, you know, what was the um, uh, forecast. Uh, and then also we had the, uh, there was a bump up a few points also in just the regular CPI, uh, but it's the core that most traders are, are looking at um, with uh, bigger uh, tagged uh, um, items are uh, out of the picture in the, in the core. All right, uh, so let's take a look here uh, and uh, what's going on. All right, so, well, you can see the drop. You can see uh, in book map here uh, something really nice. I, I always love the way that uh, since we just simply record the data in here, you're simply getting what the market gives you. Uh, and here it is. Like, uh, look at this little pocket in here of pulling liquidity uh, before the event, All right? So very, very simple, very straightforward concept here. No one wants to take the event risk, all right? So uh, here you can see, look at all this pulled liquidity here, especially uh, last um, minute or let's see how many seconds before here. So this is 29 <laughs> five seconds before, five seconds before, all right, uh, and uh, a lot of pulled liquidity. Uh, you see the <clears throat> first kind of bump up here, uh, and it, it didn't hit anything. Usually we see it kind of hit some of these areas here, 4,200, uh, or uh, this liquidity here around, um, uh, 
4180. Uh, instead, it didn't. Uh, we see the spread gap here uh, and the move lower. Okay, so uh, big, big move lower. Uh, and uh, looking for areas where it's going to hit liquidity. You can see the liquidity resting here at, at 77. It actually starts to trade some, it looks like, but uh, they're pulling as well. They're pulling down below here as well. They're on the offer here. We're finding sellers, dragging the market lower. Uh, and uh, uh, that's the story here, basically. Uh, that's what's been going on. Uh, and you can see it again here at uh, 60, uh, just uh, above the uh, swing low here. Uh, and they're getting filled in here. All right, they're on the offer up here. They're getting filled in here. They're lowering the offer, uh, and we're finding sellers trade into lower liquidity levels as well. Okay, so uh, uh, some back and forth here. Uh, 845 comes up and tests into the 65 liquidity. It does look like it filled, uh, and then we head head down and hit the liquidity here around 57, and continue on lower. All right, so uh, uh, that's been the story here. Uh, and uh, you can see uh, these uh, these sellers moving that lower. Uh, these pullbacks are pretty shallow. Uh, they're not making a higher high in here. Uh, and you can see that we're trading into this liquidity through it, retest back to it, uh, and then uh, continuation uh, to the downside. All right, now there was a little bump here at 9.30, as you guys can see. Okay, look where it went. All right, now it went to the figure here, the half figure. Uh, however, look at the transactions here. It's you know, obviously it's because of the traders around this figure area here. This is what matters. It is their participation in the market. It is their orders uh, that are making the difference here. Uh, just because it's the half figure doesn't mean anything. It mean what it has, this has significance because other traders are, are placing their orders here. Uh, and uh, it's an easy round number. Uh, so uh, you can see that uh, they were on the bid here. They get filled. They're on the offer here. They're getting filled. Uh, and uh, it really kind of stops the uh, move higher here, basically. Uh, let's just zoom in a little bit. Uh, yeah, traded into it, a little bit through it here. Uh, and then you can see what happened, right? So uh, sellers come in, dropping this market lower. Back down into liquidity here. Uh, and uh, we're still finding a few buyers in here. It's kind of interesting. Uh, just after the uh, the open, uh, trades into this liquidity and uh, right back up again. Uh, look again here at market structure. Right? We go over market structure. We've been covering market structure for quite a while now uh, in several uh, of these webinars here. And, uh, you know, we, we look for it. And then we look for order flow events around that market structure. This is very, very simple uh, stuff to understand here. Uh, in fact, just uh, don't don't roll your eyes here. Uh, we're going to go through the uh, um, uh, exercise here. Uh, market structure. Okay, this is create. This is the price action here. This is uh, best bid and offer uh, over time, uh, and uh, we can see the structure in here. All right, so let's just zoom out a little bit more. Uh, obviously, it's to the downside. Now, this move here to the upside. Let's take a look at it. Okay, this is the structure here. Uh, and then you see the quick moves to the downside. Look where we come back and retest. Okay. Uh, so uh, a, a few times in here. Uh, and then uh, we continue to the downside. Right. So here is, again, another structure area, bigger. Okay. In fact, it could go all the way back here, uh, basically. Uh, and then uh, let's move forward. Okay. And that's where we are right now. Uh, to current market. Now, what what is kind of important to understand here? Let's look at this structure too, because this is a this is a pretty strong move here. Uh, why why do I mention that? Uh, because the structure is there's there's a gap in here, right? Now we're coming up to retest that gap right now, All right? So we need to see how many buyers are in here, uh, and uh, we're going to turn on the volume dots to get an understanding of that. Uh, because, uh, you know, with a, a strong move like this and shallower pullbacks, um, typically, uh, you know, th there needs to be a tremendous amount of buying here to, to bring it back up into this structure. Okay? So we kind of look for maybe a test here around 30 or just, just above this structure here uh, and then the move back down into the range. All right. So that's kind of what it's doing right now, as we can see in the price action. Now, this is what this is where we're going to get something out of understanding the structure is the volume within the structure. And okay. let's turn on the volume dots. All right. So here we go. 
Uh, and now we're starting to understand this context. This is just two elements on the book map chart. We can even close stops and icebergs uh, for now. Uh, strong move, pullback, strong move, some back and forth pullback. Okay, look at the pullback here to that 50 level. I mean, we can even see it without the liquidity in here. Uh, we can see the big transaction here right to it. Okay, some back and forth, strong, strong move here. Now, not as strong as these. Okay, so we're starting to judge it. Uh, and uh, and then some back and forth in here actually some not not bad buying here uh, and uh, a little bit higher here but uh, we have the sellers come in and then strong move here okay so we're still sell side until we see something different here that sellers are in control all right so uh, in the structure here and look at the volume within the structure okay sellers are in control uh, so we're looking for uh, a disruption in that or continuation of that uh, and just trying to keep this very very simple here by reading the order flow now um, I'm gonna uh, we're gonna read the um, uh, current uh, market here in a, in a very low time frame okay and we're just I just want to show here like this here this is a break of this structure okay so back up to the top of the range here all right so let's see if we get more buyers up here. If we do, we're going to break it. All right, we're going to come back up into maybe this test, this structure up here, 25 and a half. Okay, these concepts of just this smaller um, uh, move in here uh, is the same ideas that we're looking at uh, in this bigger picture here. Okay, so uh, this this little move here is a is a break above that little structure here. Okay, and then you can see we did not get seller buyers back up here again. Okay, looking for sellers down here and looking for them to drop it down to the bottom of the range here, 19 and a half or so. Okay, so just understanding this, this concept of structure and volume is very powerful. Uh, and uh, if this is less confusing for you to understand this and put these pieces together, start with this, okay? One piece at a time. Start to understand the order flow, the, the participants of the traders in here. And in this case, it is the transactions of the traders, okay, within the market structure. Now, obviously, the market structure is created by these traders, okay? So now, let's turn on the heat map. Because now we want to look at the uh, the other uh, element in here. Now we're just going to fade the heat map a little bit. Okay, we can dim it here, uh, and we can look at uh, the other side of the trade. Where are they? Uh, where where are buyers and sellers in here? Now see how we're back up here now. Look at the buying, looking for the test up into here now. Okay, we didn't quite get to the low here. We're finding buyers, so looking for them to try to extend it up into this area here. Okay, so around 30, and we know there, there's liquidity here. Okay, let's just zoom out. This is the line we put in, okay, looking for a pullback to it. All right? Now we know, though, let me get rid of this line here. Um, we know that there is liquidity there. Okay? We can just, let's turn up the heat map a little bit. It's already, it's already been in there for a while, so we're looking for the test to it. Okay. So now we have a third element on the chart, and we're reading the context of that. Where is the liquidity? If these are the aggressors in here, well, where are they going with it? That's where the heat map is really helpful. Okay, what is the condition in here that might propel it up there? Okay, well, we look for you know pretty pretty strong bid, or maybe these guys are pulling that liquidity up here see how they're staying in the book they want to get filled here 159 contracts up here here's our here's the wind at our back see some of the liquidity in here okay trying to they're bidding up at a higher level here and now we're just looking for buyers to complete the process and trade up into 30. And there we go. There's 30. All right. So, again, just very simple stuff here. Now, this was a smaller time frame move. Okay, but we're going to zoom out and we can look at the higher time frame move here. Okay. So, not bad on the buy side here. Not bad. Uh, you know, this might turn into a higher time frame move. 
Hold on a minute here. Auto recenter trades. Okay. Um, so it might turn into a higher time frame move. Now, if it does, uh, it needs to come back up again here. And uh, we'd be looking for a trade back up into this previous range in here. Okay, we can look at some of the swings. But now we're going to look at this range up here. Let's just dim the heat map again here. We're going to look at this range up here in terms of like what is a value area here. Okay, this is the low value area here because of the, the swings here. This is a high value area up here. So uh, we're looking for something into not the middle, but the high volume node in here, the most traded level. It could be down here. It could be up here. Okay, we're going to look at our volume profile. It's right here. It's actually up there pretty high at 40 uh, in that range. Okay, so are we finding enough buyers to try to get up there? Okay, we all we've gotten so far is our retest to here, 30. Okay, see how it needs to break that? Okay, and we need to find quite a bit of buying to break that. Now, they we're looking for buyers to buy off of this level here, or maybe they have to come all the way back down here to 20 or 21, uh, and then buy again. This is where they bought previously. Uh, and we look for them to support it here again. And let's put the heat map back on to get more insight to what's going on. Okay, so it's obviously it's through that 25 level here. We did not see the support here in the bid, nor did we see buying in here a little bit here. Okay, uh, and then we see selling here. Right, so they're dropping it lower. Uh, we can also look at not only these areas down here, the high volume node in here, in this previous range in here. Okay, and that's right here at 22 and a half. Okay, so let's also mark up that high volume node here at 22 and a half. Okay, looking for a test to that. Okay, our buyer is going to support that. Well, this is where we need to read the order flow. Okay, they've already they're already through it. Okay, so looking for them to come come lower now, uh, into uh, this level here at 20 and 21, or let's call it. Okay, and then lows of the day here down to 20, or I'm sorry, down here, 17, 16. Okay, let's let's look at a, maybe a bigger picture move 4000 down here. Okay, sellers are coming in looking for the move down to the bottom of the range here. Okay, now it's bouncing off of this level here very slightly, okay, but it is. Okay, so <coughs> now w w this is why we put these areas in here. You know, this is for your consideration to manage your trade uh, because this is the um, area here where we found the buyers previously here. Okay. So to see it bounce off of here is not a surprise. Okay, now our sellers are coming right back down. This is as much buying as we got off of that. It's not a whole lot. Okay, looking for more sellers right here at 21 and looking for the sellers. Now we're not getting them yet, but looking for them. And then looking for the push to 16 down here and, and lower. Okay, low of the day is uh, 17 and a quarter or so. Okay, more buying coming in. Now look at the structure. Okay, we're still we're not making higher highs in here. Okay, here the high is up here, low is here. Here are sellers. Okay, so let's see now if we get a bit more and then the push. And we should get a stop run as well. Okay, sellers, you've got it. Let's see it. There's 20. 
buyers snap back very, very quickly here to our point of control. Uh, let me get to the questions here. I've, I'm sorry, guys. I've um, uh, have not looked at any questions yet. So sorry for that. Good morning, eighth trader. Oh, uh, he. Thank you, trader he, a whistleblower right now. Okay. Yeah, we we reply eighth trader. We reply to questions in here all the time, uh, and also in YouTube. So let me jump over to YouTube as well. Okay. Uh, Alessandro, I, I uh, don't know what time your question came in, but yeah, the heat map is on here. Aloha, crypto server, uh, surfer, and newbie. Surprise, Bruce doesn't keep stops on. Well, I'm I'm not really trading in here. Uh, J Trader will he'll, he'll be trading tomorrow. Also Scott Pulsini. All right, guys, looking for those sellers now. Here's why again. I mean, those buyers came in. Look now, look at the selling pressure come in, and but just again, it comes back to structure in that context in here. All right now, heck, heck, you know, we don't know. Maybe a, a slew of buying is going to come right back up into 23, and then we'd be looking for a move back to 30 here, All right? Okay, but there's more selling here than there is buying, and the structure is not telling us that right now. We made a lower low here and kind of an equal high here. Okay, well, just be careful to manage your trade accordingly. Uh, but uh, uh, and look, I mean, they're retesting it back up here again, and we might get those buyers. Okay, if we do, we'll note it, and we'll look for that move up into this 30 level here. The first one is, is pretty nice. It's uh, detailed here. Uh, the structural level is detailed by that liquidity that you already see here, uh, right in here, okay? And that's the, that is the uh, kind of uh, uh, consolidation period in here. Okay, so yeah, looks like, see, see the buying coming in here? Now this, they're starting to kind of pick it up here, okay? And here they go. All right, they're gonna go for it here, back up to 25, looking for the move back up to 25 here. They've got, you know, some good buying pressure in here, looking for them to try to move it to 25. Uh, then the next level is up here at 27, and then uh, our 30 level. Okay, and we talk about trap traders in here. This is the trap. I mean, it's basically down in here. Uh, this looks pretty good, um, but uh, yeah, this whole level in here basically uh, below the 21. Okay, buyers, let's see. Let's see you move it back to 25 here, and then 27. And 30 and see if they have enough we're looking and to get to these levels we we've got to find the buying pressure here they've got to show up All right to just say it's going to go oh yeah it's going to go to 30 it's going to go to 27 it's based on what we see in here uh, with the transactions uh, and the and the order book uh, Vasu you're welcome um, yeah, no, we've been we've been doing these live um, forward-looking webinars for quite a while. Oh, I, I no, I, I turned off the stops and icebergs. Um, uh, Lucero, uh, just because um, uh, I was just trying to make a point, <coughs> a point there. That's all. You kept getting an error message on ESZ two. 
uh, not found. Um, not not sure, John Doe, what to, what to tell you. Um, is it? Are you looking at rhythmic? Uh, you should be able to. Uh, it's for CME. Make sure you you select CME. So click on the plus tab here. Uh, rhythmic, uh, and then exchange is CME. Uh, and then uh, and then in, input here. If you don't see it in here, because these like a lot of these are already you know expired, I, I need to go and delete them all. But like um, uh, the um, uh, if you don't see it in here, you got to type it in. Just just type it in here. Okay, uh, ESZ2, uh, and then it should tell me I'm already subscribed to it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what, what, if you're, is it rhythmic? Uh, like like David is, is, is telling you, you can, if it's DX feed, it's a, it's a different symbol name. Uh, you have to put in a slash. Okay, so let's just do it quickly here. Um, DX feed. Okay, so now you put in any symbol in here, which is kind of cool. I, I like the way that DXV does this. But you have to put in a slash ESZ, and then you can see it in here. And then we put in 22, and in here it is, and I'll select it. Okay, uh, try that. Okay, and then, then it will populate here. And here, no data received. Okay, now no, there it is. <laughs> kind of scared me for a moment. Okay, so try that. I'm going to unsubscribe from it. Uh, you might need to reach out to um, for this Apex thing then, um, and 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 speak with them. You, you should have access to it. I mean, I'm I'm using Rhythmic. Here it is. Guys, here come our sellers now. Now we're getting our follow through on the sell side. Looking for the continuation here, looking pretty good. Uh, we, we've got a lot of, we, we talked about the trap traders. It's this here. Seems to be the trap. Okay. So sellers coming in, looking for 10 and yeah, I mean, seven and the figure. Okay, buyers coming right back. Interesting, interesting moves in here. And they've got all these guys trapped. This is one trap after another. Okay, now do they have the follow through though? <laughs> yeah, it's quite a bit of iron. All right, so that was that was kind of uh, that was kind of tough to read. Let's see it on that sell side again though. Let's see if they can do it. Let's look at our, our kind of our structure in here. Basically what we did was you came we came a little bit above point of control. Okay, back up to these guys. Uh, and basically they kind of let them out. Okay, and then we're right back down here. And okay, now we're letting these guys out is the question. All right, I'm still looking for sellers here. I'm looking for the bottom of the range, 16, and then the push through it. And then this will probably be a quick move uh, down to 10. Okay, so still sell side here, looking for the move uh, and, the, and the continuation to 10, to seven, and then to the figure here. All right, kind of, kind of tricky in here a bit, um, but uh, we come back down in here. Uh, you know, the sellers, they, they took it here. It's quite a bit of selling. Look at the dots. Look at the uh, the bars. Uh, quite a bit of buying also, um, but it's still less than the selling. So it's still looking for sellers to take uh, this lower here. 
buyers still fighting it in here still fighting it okay we might get a retest back up to here 18 and a half <laughs> don't fight the fed um yeah i mean you know we see the stop run here to the downside right we don't really see any stops up here so sellers are still in it and it retested and it would you wouldn't even higher a bit higher here uh and then we see the sellers come in here and then they this is where we see them starting to move it All right so we're sell side still looking for the move lower here and we're not in a position or anything we're looking for it's not a trade recommendation okay so we're we're just analyzing the market here due to the order flow and pointing to areas uh due to the order flow pointing to the areas we think uh it will uh likely visit uh the edge here is is reading the order flow okay and putting that together with any strategy you might be using we're going over a little bit of volume profile, um, uh, you know, uh, swings. Um, we're not going over candlesticks in here, but we've been going over structure. Uh, and uh, we go over like head and shoulders or people were talking about that yesterday, et cetera. Uh, different patterns, um, you know, continuation patterns uh, or <coughs> consolidation patterns. Yesterday we talked about a lot about... Um, uh, Wyckoff and distribution accumulation markup markdown. So the distribution and accumulation happens within your consolidation, the back and forth in here. The markup or markdown here is by the sellers or the buyers moving the market um, and taking control of it. Okay. So still, there's quite a bit of buying in here, but look at the, look at the structure in here. I'm still we're still looking for sellers, right? And then all of these guys are going to be upended here, and we should get a nice move to the downside here. Look at these icebergs in here. So, so this is where the stops and icebergs can be really helpful. All of this buying in here is into icebergs. Okay, a lot of it. Uh, we've we've dropped here from it was up at 2,800 down to uh, you know about 1,300. Okay, so about 1,500 icebergs are in here. That's I mean for the S&P that's not bad. It's not bad. So we have that on our side here. Even though we see that buying in here, we have the icebergs on our side. So we're still looking for lower areas here. Okay, more questions. Bartos, I I think I've answered your question. Um, yeah, we don't uh Vasu um no 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 spread trading. Um uh, we haven't we have never really covered that. Uh but um there, there. One thing we have covered is some synthetic instruments, or, or you know, a correlation tracker, uh, or the new cross BBO. Uh, well, the cross BBO is not going to work, um, but the correlation tracker will, uh, and uh, you know, throw some of those things on the chart. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, the cross BBO actually will work. We can, we can put, for example, the uh, the spread in here for. Um, I need to subscribe to it. Hold on. Uh, this will be interesting, so hold on a minute. So I don't know if you guys are familiar. We, we've got some videos on it. Um, we did a session on it with the uh, cross uh, BBO, cross, cross best bid and offer. We'll subscribe to it here, uh, and then I'll add it here to the chart, so you can start to look at your maybe your spreads and your spread trading.
Uh, I'm just going to change the colors in here just um, so we have the distinction here. Okay, we're down at 10, guys. This is the projected uh, uh, area and still still going lower here. Not at, not. We were looking for the quick move here, kind of like this here, uh, due to you know uh, the stop run that we're looking for, and we got that. And then we just got, you know, we got all of this um, uh, in here. Structure is looking good, and we know that they're trading into icebergs. So the buying is trading into icebergs on the other side. Now, not all of them, uh, but uh, you know, a, pr a pretty good chunk. Uh, and uh, that's the beauty of this. Uh, uh, stops an iceberg uh, indicator in here. I mean that that just you know I don't know how you guys feel about it, but for me when you know I read this and I'm going well this is weird. There's a lot of buying in here. Uh, <coughs> what and and they're not able to move the market higher. This is looking very odd. Um, now then I see the icebergs in here on the other side. So that's where this really, for me at least, like uh, that gives me a lot of insight into this area in here. Okay, to understand that uh, you know people are reloading or or their you know larger players are getting filled here on these pullbacks in this area here. Yeah, yeah, uh, Vasu, like um. um <coughs> Well, you know, another thing you could do too is that you could look for, uh, you could use this uh, uh, cross BBO uh, in here. Here it is. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, this, this uh, remember our, our yellow and our blue line down here, this is the best bid and offer of, if you hover over it, uh, the ESU2 contract. Okay. Whereas the, this is the best bid and offer here for the um, uh, ESZ contract, December contract. All right. So you can, you can look at it that way um as well okay or you can put the correlation tracker on here as well all right so you, if you want to do that here let's just uh let's do that i think i've got correlation tracker and add and we'll add it this color here that's fine Uh, another thing, guys, this is uh, kind of the beauty that, you know, we talked about this yesterday. Uh, we, we talked about it many, many times over. Look at the work we had to put in for this um, uh, distribution area in here, right? Uh, it's up, it's down, like buyers trying to take it. I mean, sell side, you know, we know the sellers came in here, okay? And then we looked for maybe buyers trying to, or looking going through scenarios in here where they may take control or try to do something. Uh, we we did get the move to 30, okay, from uh, uh, this coming up in here uh, and, the, and looking for buyers to support it in here. Uh, and then uh, we had this kind of back and forth in here, back and forth in here. This is where, to me, it looked like uh, sellers really took control. <laughs> come, come back and uh, a couple of times here, here and here, above the swing, uh, and then uh, we come right back down again, though, and then I'm looking for those sellers. We got them in here. You can see them in here pretty clearly, but uh, we started to see them actually in here, and then this confirmed it. We're looking for the move to the downside, to the, to the low again, uh, and then we started to look at lower liquidity here. Okay, so um, uh, that's, that's played out pretty nicely. Now, w what helped us in here again is market structure. Okay, we did not come up to 30. Uh, or uh, the swing here. Yeah, I guess it was 20. We didn't come up to 25. 30 was even even further back. Uh, so uh, uh, this is where, you know, this can really help you. Um, uh, we looked at the uh, point of control in here as well. Uh, they, they did break it above it uh, here uh, and then broke down again below it here. My point is, like, look at all of the back and forth and kind of the work in here. Uh, and uh, then looking for looking for surety though, okay. And uh, we we were still we're looking for a couple scenarios in here for buyers. Uh, even in here, like maybe maybe once we got back down in here, there was no maybe though, okay. Uh, and we're looking for those sellers. We we remain kind of uh, with our our uh, outlook here, sell side. 
All right? And then this here is what you get. All right? So the, that was my main point of going through all this hard work in here. You got the markdown. Okay, and you still stay with it until you see something different. All right, now we we have quite a bit of buying coming in here, so let's go. We got to go through the process again. It's going to make us work for it, for this in here. Okay, so back and forth in here. All right, now still though, let's look at the structure. See, we're still remaining on that sell side. Okay, the structure has not come back up into this area here. Okay, it's it's tested here. Okay, but it didn't come up further. Okay, look, quite a bit of buying yet again. Okay, it it the um, it hasn't even come up to this swing yet here. Okay, point of control in this area here is actually right here at 07. Okay. Okay, so we're we're still remaining sell side even in con confronting all of this buying in here. Okay, until we see something different. All right, just trying to trying to keep it simple. So know your structure and know your volume within your structure. Know your heat map or your uh, liquidity within the structure. Okay, this is kind of an interesting one here. Watch these buyers try to snap it right back up here. Okay, maybe top of the range, maybe 09. See, see them coming in and, and no, we, I mean, our bigger picture, we're still remaining sell side. But this has the potential here. All right, we did not get the sellers or many sellers here, and we're starting to get some buying in here. All right, now let, let's see if they, they come in here. Okay, and then we're looking for uh, 08 and top of the range 09, 950 here. 950 is where that well, liquidity was. Now it's down at 08 and a half. Okay, any questions on this? No, okay. Looks like we're pretty good. Ah, okay, let, let me get to Discord here. Yes, um, eighth trader. Yes, it is um, the um, we're we're looking at the uh, the um, buyers and sellers, uh, the aggressors here moving that market. And then the trap is when you have like a. Uh, an area where uh, accumulated volume and then the, the market kind of quickly moves away from it. Uh, there are several um, webinars we've gone over traps. Okay, we'll go over another one if we see one here. Okay, still remaining our, on our sell side until we see something different, right? Okay, looking for the figure here. Now, one of the things about the figure that we, we've seen again and again uh, is a lot of times we kind of inch down toward it uh, and um, uh, you'll start to see like uh, just not enough sellers to, to, to reach it. Uh, and uh, uh, we start to see some buyers come in and they you know start to even change and get a reversal type of pattern uh, just before trading the figure. Uh, so we're open to that scenario. I don't see it unfolding yet. Okay. Maybe it was in here that we that we're starting to see that. I don't I don't know. Uh, but uh, 
uh, you know, a lot of times we'll get just down here and then some profit taking, maybe some, um, you know, getting some sellers going the wrong way before thinking, oh, it's a, it's a no-brainer, it's going to hit the figure. Uh, and um, whatever the case is, uh, you know, we a lot of times we'll see something like this. Or I'll just uh, kind of outline it. Um, and it's just a scenario. What would look for that scenario, right? That's that's the key. And we know what it looks like. Uh, it would be like a big buyers, right? Right now, it would be big buyers coming in, big green dots like this, pulling that market up to uh, top of the range. Uh, and then we'll probably get a, a small pullback. Uh, and then uh, look for a continuation, though. All right, so from uh, from there, uh, then uh, we'd look for uh, maybe, uh, uh, again, more buyers to take this higher uh, up into uh, other swings, previous swings here, you know, something like that. Okay, it happens a lot. And then what, <laughs> and then what unfolds here is that I see, we see it in crude, we've seen it in crude oil for years, uh, is we get this kind of uh, double top pattern up here. It'll come back down, come back up, just not enough buyers so leg one leg two fails uh, and then we get our sellers uh, to trade it right back down into the figure okay so uh, that's another scenario we've outlined it many times in the past okay so but uh, look for that possible scenario okay as as mentioned we we don't see it yet okay so um, we're we're still looking for it going lower uh, into these areas here. Another thing too is you, you do see them start to see like the kind of front running in here. Uh, liquidity in front of the figure. Okay, This is very typical too. Look at liquidity here on the offer. Okay, Skewing the auction, trying to maybe get it down into the figure here. Okay. Now let's go through another scenario. Another scenario is a lot of times we'll see uh, it trade into the figure, go below it, uh, maybe you know somewhere around uh, three to five points usually two to three uh, and then a move back up above it and then you get the squeeze to the upside so you get a lot of people that uh, a lot of traders are um, so you know here, here come those buyers right okay just in front of the figure so let's see if they can come back up to here uh, 05 okay I'm not going to draw it up here We even broke that little structure here. Okay, liquidity is at 05 here. Okay, and then our structure is here. trade it no just shy of it a tick shy of it Other potential swings in areas and structure. Okay, and uh, here now here here come our buyers. Now let's see if they if they follow through here. So almost to 05 here. Okay, also high volume note here at 07. No, 
nothing yet nothing yet and let's see it buyers let's see if you can do it so now watch if they can't do it watch how sellers will come in uh, here uh, down around 0275 and then watch them hit the bid here Okay, not enough, not enough sellers here. Okay, bid is looking pretty good here, actually. O two and a half, o two, o one and a half. And now, now it's just o two. Now we're getting our buyers up here. Now we should, well, you know, just looking for a. a it's done to is hit the 05 here. I want to see them hit this uh, 07 here, the, that point of control, okay, and then maybe potentially 08 and then uh, 09 and a half or so. So here's our point of control move here 07. Okay, back up into this range here. I'm sorry, guys, I'm putting the, the rectangle right on the liquidity there. Yeah, eighth trader. Okay, so here's your question. At 4,000, there is a psychological support. What can Bookmap help to give some indication that it will hold? Okay, we, we actually, well, I think in my mind, I, I, I answered uh, the question, uh, is to look at uh, the um, front runners here. Okay, uh, we went through the scenario with those ovals, and I, I drew that it might come up here, do a double top, and then come back down and trade it. We went through three different scenarios uh, in here. So uh, this was one of them, was we just get kind of down here and then, you know, looking for a retest back up here. Okay, so, uh, and, and we, saw it, we saw it start to unfold, right? We started to mark up these levels in here where it might go. Okay, so now, it, the, so the I I would, um, so the the question is, will it hold or not? Is more like, well, it's it's not really what I'm looking for. It's what are the orders and traders? How are they reacting to this area? Uh, if they're reacting to that to this area in one of these manners, then we're looking for it to go higher. Okay, if uh, uh, you know, there's um, let's say let's say we get this kind of some buying in here and it didn't even break the structure here and we we got more sellers in here likely you'd trade into and through okay and what if they they're not in front here they're behind it here you know is the is these kinds of details we want to answer uh if it's going to trade into it or not so keep coming to the webinars uh and we go through all these different scenarios so one of the scenarios would be i mean we went through three uh, but uh, what if they're not in front here? It's all dark here, okay, above the figure. But what if they're, you know, starting to show liquidity down below uh, in these areas or even lower than that, uh, you know, down, down in here. We see this a lot, okay. Well, that's, I mean, yeah, it's good that they're on the bid that they want to buy, but it, it's not as bullish as if they're in front. So this is context. Okay. Psychological support, I, it, I, I really want to scratch that out of the question. 
double bottom, I want to scratch that out of the question as well. Okay, it's more about how is it reacting down here, and that context in this auction is what we want to answer. Okay, I use double. I, I, you know, a lot of times I'll use double bottoms or like uh, um, head and shoulders or whatever. It just, just to talk about the um, because everyone knows what they are, uh, but we're going to talk about it in terms of order flow. Uh, so here, here's our sellers coming down coming down look look at you know we're not getting so many sellers now we're starting to get buyers down here even at this bottom here we start to see some buyers come in okay well we get buyers up here they even broke this small structure and that's the condition that's going on we didn't even trade down into the figure people are front running it and sellers did not take them on here okay we get our retest here we get some sellers in here true they trade into this liquidity here and that's as far as they took it. Okay, this is where we can look at the nuances in here as well. Okay, you can even look at very small areas in here as like this could be the selling trap and see how the buyer shifted away from there back up to the top of the range. Okay, usually we get this and then a pullback to this area here and then continuation. The pullback actually came here. There's a little pullback in here, not, not much not much all right and these are the questions to answer okay the context understanding the orders in this area in here once we start to understand that we can start to project different scenarios and look for these things to follow through or not okay in this case it's following through to the upside okay just tr it just traded to our 08 level okay, it made it to this point of control and then it failed uh, came back down uh, and then we do find some support, see them bidding up here, and we don't even get sellers trading into them. Uh, and then we get another shift here back up into this area. Okay, so now we've gotten kind of a, a re, you know, bit of a reversal pattern here. I'm looking for it to fail now, though. And now I'm looking for sellers to come in. We've come up here, we've hit some stops, we, you know, whatever, uh, some back and forth in here. And now, and we might get, you know, we kind of got a small pattern up here. A lot of times it does a bigger kind of double top, meaning that <laughs> there were buyers in here. We see the selling come in here and they just can't make another higher high or, or even equal high. Uh, and, and then this is what we want to read in here if we're going to get our continuation down into the figure. Okay, looks pretty good. Um, you know, I see that selling coming in here and here, All right? So let's see them try to come in again. And looking for them right here, right now, and down to the fig down to this liquidity first, and they should be able to trade through that. Let's see. Looking for our sellers into O3. the O2, and then the figure. Not yet. Let's see if they come in now. Right here. Sellers. Down to O3. Let's see. See, they're starting to bid up here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, see, see how they're down below here, um, eighth trader. See how they're down below. They're not in front. Okay, so you know that that allows the uh, the the buyers to uh, well, it's just not as bullish. Okay, and and watch. See, this guy already pulled at O2. Okay, so we we get a kind of a feel for these guys down here. Do they want to trade or not? OK, 
Okay, still looking for sellers to hit into this 03. And we came all the way back up again. And still looking for them. 03, 02, the figure. Okay, this is kind of turning into what we kind of drew up. It's another variation. Like, like uh, it, we, we still might come up to 08 here. Um, we could even get a reversal out of it. It's possible. Um, the... Um, Yeah, and we might get the, the, the move back up to 07, and we'll, and we'll read it at that point. And then we might get a continuation on that second leg, right? Uh, and then back up into higher levels here. Okay? But I'm still looking for these sellers in here. Okay, still. Let's see it, sellers. Let's see it right here. Yeah. Uh, Eighth trader, I think that was a pretty good sequence of going through um, the. Uh, it's a good question, uh, and uh, we went through uh, the sequence of, of of reading this context in here, and the and the different scenarios and variations. Just um, just because like uh, every double top or bottom or, you know, it's it's all it's all made up of the orders. So we want to understand the condition of those orders. Uh, and uh, that's that's where we get the insight, right? Just because it's a double top or a double bottom doesn't mean anything. Okay, but if we have a double top or a double bottom with, you know, like this one's not bad. Like not a whole bunch of buying or, or selling down here. Buying up here broke the structure, retest down here. Typically, it, it makes a, a little bit slightly higher low in here. And then you get more buyers up here and then you get the break. In this case, there was a little bit of selling in here and then they kind of pulled away quickly. Uh, and, and then we see traders up here and then back up into some of these areas here. Yeah, so and go through the variations. I, I would recommend like a, a use replay mode and book map, uh, record your, um, your sessions uh, and go back and study these areas in here, and you'll you'll start to understand it. You'll understand these variations and what to look for in the scenarios. Come up with your own scenarios. Like, well, okay, if it if we see these things start to unfold, then we're looking for this to happen. And that's reading the order flow. How's our spread trade doing? <coughs> or spread idea. So this made a higher low here. I think it made a, no, okay, it made a higher low here as well in the U contract. Quite a bit of buying starting to come in. It was this was looking pretty good for hitting that figure, but uh, one more one more retest back up here. Okay, this is where I want to see now. I want to see the sellers down below here again. Like it, it's close to our O3, but it's a little bit higher here. It's this area here. I want to read that. Okay, see them, here they come. Now, can they trade right through that area? 
That's what we're looking for. Quite a bit of buying. Quite a bit of buying. Still a lower high though. And that's that's structure. I mean, we're looking at the structure. You know, quite a bit of buying, but they're not able to make a higher high on all that buying. Okay, watch for the sellers trade through this here. Let's see if we can get down to the figure now. Can they do it? All right, guys, there's our move uh, into the figure. Okay, so still looking for it to go lower here. 97 and a half. Uh, our pivot point is going to be the the, the 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 figure here, basically. <coughs> well, that we want to kind of keep an eye on here, right? This is where we see the move, right? And then the uh, potential uh, kind of um, uh, trap below here. But uh, you know, don't see it yet. Still, still looking to go lower here. There it is. See how they came in right here, right at our level here, right? Okay. Now this is uh, right back up here, looking for them to try to take it higher as well. Uh, I think they can back up to 05 or 06 up here. Still structurally though, like, you know, it's still holding. All it's done, all, all we've seen it do is uh, we got a big reaction off of it, but it's come back up to this structure here. So you guys can see. See how this repeats? This here, and then draw across. This here, draw across. Buyers above it, and then the, the snap back. Okay, big stop run here, as you guys can see as well. <laughs> Liquidity up here at 10. Okay, quite a bit of buying. Now again, look at look at the bars, and now we're going to look at the dots here. Okay, so the <coughs> the bars are showing quite a bit of buying. Okay, now this selling in here, yeah, that's good, but look where it took place, way down here. Okay, so now buyers looking to see if they might be able to take control here. Uh, at, at least we're trying to get back up into um, some of these levels, 08 and, and 10. Uh, originally we had 09 and a half, but uh, the liquidity is now at 10 and, and a little bit lower.
Uh, eighth trader. Okay, so uh, yeah, you, you purchased uh, Global Plus uh, Lifetime a few years ago, mainly due to the education, but now it's free. Um, we just, uh, I mean, basically what happened there is we went to YouTube uh, and um, uh, it just, it kind of broke down everything. So yeah, I understand the, a, a bit of frustration on that. Um, <laughs> whereas before, it was part of the package. Uh, we were just limiting a lot of people and they, they didn't understand order flow and, and um, uh, you know, trying to give them, um, you know, everybody uh, understanding of, of order flow and, you know, uh, help their trading. Uh, so um, in, anyway, yeah, I understand that frustration. Um, uh, but uh, we think we're, we're doing more education than ever uh, and uh, it's there, take advantage of it. Uh, and you're back, so uh, uh, begin trading again, uh, NQES, uh, whatever uh, it is. Yeah, I, I do recommend that you subscribe to Rhythmic. Um, so the um, the Rhythmic data is uh, very high quality. So is DX Feed, uh, but the Rhythmic data goes above and beyond. Okay, guys, look look at look at this move here. Like, uh, see how we 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 notice the strong move here by the buyers. Here's the retest basically to it, and then there there's another strong move here. So I'm I'm still looking for them to go higher here. Okay, I, I want to see them come up to this 07 here, or where you know this is where we target the liquidity, the swings and liquidity. Okay, I guess I guess it's about 06 here, uh, and then uh, and then 10. Yeah, yeah, that's good. A good attitude, eighth trader. So you're not not frustrated. Uh, just want to get going with book map and order flow again. Yeah, con can continue to come in here, uh, and uh, uh, we're we're here to to help you answer your questions, etc. Uh, that was a good exchange with the uh, going through the different variations and what what to look for, uh, and then also to kind of debunk some of these ideas of like, well, it's not a double top or bottom or whatever it is that we're looking for. It's the the orders that we're looking for, okay, around specific areas. Uh, with rhythmic, if you're just trading the NQ and the ES, you just need to pay thirty nine bucks a month. Um, <laughs> you can get it from the, here. I'll show you on the on the Bookmap uh, uh, marketplace. So the way to find it, go to Bookmap.com. Uh, click on the More button here, and then go. You can click. I usually just click right on the text for Marketplace. Uh, it is linked, uh, and then you find Rhythmic here. Click on that. Here, CME Non Pro, thirty nine bucks a month. Add to cart. Now, if you want the CME bundle. Okay, that includes here CME, CBOT, NYMEX, and COMEX. So if you trade, um, you know, the bonds or even the YM, that's on the C CBOT or the grains or whatever. If you trade um, your uh, energies like crude oil or natural gas, you need NYMEX. If you're trading the metals, you need uh, uh, COMEX. All right, COMEX. So it's up to you, uh, but if you're just trading the stock, Op, um, stock indexes or the currency futures uh, go with this one and you're all set okay questions in YouTube sorry guys uh, was uh, answering a lot of questions there in discord Yeah, uh, Captain Price, we haven't had too many um, uh, issues. Like uh, usually, it's pretty pretty tough trading um, uh, the um, rollover period. Um, we've we've seen some pretty good moves though. Guys, I think this is we were looking for that move back up into o o nine uh, or ten, um, and. Uh, Let's just zoom out a little bit. And because of that buying on uh, that quick move and then another one here, it looks like the buyers are coming back in. Uh, the um, it, it now it, it looks more like it's going to be, a, you know, kind of um, well, it, in fact, structurally, it's still negative here. We're still it's still bearish. Even these in, in here uh, are lower highs in here, all of them. Right. So structurally, this is still bearish. Okay, we're just noticing these buyers coming in though. So
So that was a misread uh, on my part. So uh, uh, you know, notice that the, these these buyers in here, these buyers in here. Well, it still may do it. Uh, we got to come up here though, and they, they, we got to see the buyers up here at 05, and they've got to really come in hand over fist to move it uh, and uh, and break the structure as well. So as you can see, they they're not, and we're getting sellers coming right back in and retest this area here. And maybe they'll come down to our, our what we were looking for earlier, our 97 and a half here. Okay, Simon, mainly buyers, no sellers, you see. Okay, so um, <coughs> I don't, I'm not sure what time you, you wrote that, Simon. But uh, yeah, we're, we're seeing that uh, in here. See, see how like they're kind of supporting it here, right? Right, here they come. Okay, let's see them first get up to here. O2, there they go. All right, so now th th there's this, there still seems to be that this kind of knee-jerk reaction in here um, from these buyers. They need to break the structure, though. So we need to see them here, and they really need to come in and move this market, All right? And I, they're just not so far. Okay, we need to see that. This is where we need to see them, right here, right now. Large buying, then 05, first test. Okay, we're not getting too much out of the order book in here. Uh, you know, we, we see this. This is kind of a stacking algo or market making algo in here. Um, stacker algo. It's just uh, you know keeping its distance uh, on the bid and on the offer. By I don't know what is it, how many ticks? Maybe two points or so. Yeah, about two points. Uh, Omar, Bookmap can work with the uh, currency futures, and then you can apply that directly to the spot market if you want to trade forex. Okay, but uh, we need an order book. We need volume uh, from a centralized exchange uh, in order to really take advantage of Bookmap. Uh, bow which time frames do I trade with the heat map um, well it depends on what the the order flow looks like uh, a lot of the trading or I'm sorry analysis in here uh, is um, boy this doesn't look good see the selling coming in here and then selling starting to mount again So we we didn't we didn't even get to 05 here. So this structure, guys, is still bearish in here. It's still bearish. You know, this is we just, we just don't we're looking for clarity in here, and we're we just don't see it right now. Okay, even with a lot of buying in here now, there's you know selling starting to come in now too. So uh, anyway. Uh, if we get our sellers right here at the bottom of the range, we should get the push into, you know, a lower low here. Yeah, here we go. Let's see it, sellers. 97 and a half. And nice, nice stop run here. So anyway, we saw that buying in here, but look at the structure. Again. Okay, so here, here's here's our move now, 97 and a half. Whereas before, we were, we were we're pulling for those buyers in here. Uh, you know, we we start to see them come in, but uh, uh, they can't they can't even break this 0575 up here. Okay, so from here on, you know, they just uh, couldn't couldn't do it even with their buying pressure. So we come back down and we see the sellers hit 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 the bid here. Well, yeah, I mean, if you if you um, bow, if you're looking at the order flow here, I mean, you can see the orders, and that will, if you can understand the 
uh, the orders and uh, uh, you can understand where price may go next. And that's the, that's the edge. Okay, now use that in combination with all of your other edges. Okay, maybe it's like, a, you know, above like point of control for the day or like above a value area high or low for the day and you've done your back testing and you know you have an edge. All right, now look at, you know, book map. Uh, to, to help support that edge. Or maybe you're trading really small time frames and you can just look at it in here, uh, come up with trading strategies. You can, you can write your own uh, automated trading strategies in here. I can demo that for you uh, here. We can use chase and escape here. Um, and uh, <coughs> yeah, I think... I need to you need to accept the risks you can also so like I said you can you can program your own um, and um, uh, you can now program also in um, in Python every now and then we, we've done it for years in here uh, every now and then we'll show um, the uh, uh, this uh, funny thing in here. Okay, enabled, enabled. All right, I think I'm good. So let's see here. So these are two automated strategies in here, and it should mimic the behavior we're seeing here for this rollover. Uh, you know, these guys that are, are, are two, uh, these kind of stacker algos or market making algos that are a couple points away here. All right, so let's uh, let's see it. All right, we'll uh, enable the trading, and uh, we'll put one on the bid down here, and one on the offer way up here. See how immediately it chased. Okay. Okay, so actually, you can see I'm off a little bit by about four ticks. It looks like. So let's let's uh, let's fix that. So it is two points, not three. Okay. All right. So now let's just watch this. See how see how we're tracking along with this algo? Okay. So you can write your own trading strategies in here. And then, uh, <coughs> you know, when maybe price to gets to a certain area, Tell it, tell that algo to shut off, and and uh, your order will just remain in the order book and get filled at the area you want. Uh, Justin, you can still trade from your Trade of Eight account, um, no problem. Uh, in fact, you should be able to even use the cross trading. Uh, I believe. Uh, from trading from Rhythmic, if you want, uh, into your Trade of Eight account. Okay, so here, here, here you can see it, guys. Like uh, we had to adjust it in here, but now it's tracking it pretty well, right? It's right on it. This one's a little off by a tick or so. Uh, so, Bao, if you or anyone who's an automated um, uh, a trader or mostly automated, or you just this can also can give you a, sig a signal uh, to buy or sell. Uh, or it can you can have it fully automated and it'll trade. All right, <laughs> it's been a while since we demoed that, um, but I, I I'm just fascinated by it. I I just love it. Uh, this is incredible to me uh, to see like 
you know, now that we're not just kind of tracking the order flow in here, uh, we're tracking specific individuals in here uh, and their behavior. We know what their behavior is, what they're doing. And we're, we're mimic, mimicking that behavior in here. Right, so this is very, very powerful uh, to be able to understand uh, uh, these markets and uh, how to, uh, uh, you know, start to understand their behavior. Yeah, you, you guys all have access to this right right now. Uh, in fact, you, you will need to have Global Plus to have this. Uh, and again, there's even the execute here. Um, <laughs> this strategy will execute uh, the trades. This is where you have to be very careful and know what you're getting involved in here uh, with. Okay, so it, now it, it, let me we'll, 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 uh, let me go through just a, a bit more on this here. Uh, since we're covering it. Uh, and let me show you where you can find more as well. Okay, so go to our YouTube channel uh, and uh, <coughs> scroll down, go to playlists down here, or bonus material, and then the playlist for features and components. Click on that. In fact, hold on a minute here. I'm going to open that up in a new window so we can get the number of the video. Okay, now <coughs> we can scroll down here uh, and uh, look at um, some of these automated trading strategies in here. Oh boy, I can't find it. Um, I know, I know they're in here. Um, we just kind of rearranged these in here. So uh, a little bit harder to find. Here we go. Automated trading strategies here. Overview uh, and then activating them. Uh, and I think there's more uh, as well. But uh, start with these. Uh, I think there's like an 18 minute long um, one on, uh, you know, understanding the uh, Anyway, you can use these in replay mode as well uh, and test them. Okay, so uh, anyway, go with those uh, guys and uh, uh, play around with it. Uh, and uh, you know, the um, basically what this this strategy does right here, Chase, is this is kind of like a um, uh, a trailing stop. Uh, however, it's for your uh, order. Um, you know, it could be for order entry. It doesn't have to be for order um, or exiting a position. Okay, so it's just, it chases. Uh, and then it will stay in there. Now, the escape, though, when combined with, you can see we're combining them both together here. We have both working here. This one will <laughs> escape the market uh, if uh, the, um, uh, the, the orders here uh, do not meet my criteria the percentage you can see I boosted the percentage to a lot here 207 so if the percentage in the order book over uh, a, a certain amount of um, uh, price levels in here uh, is is not met um, then uh, it will just it won't escape okay if it is if it is met here um, then, then it it will uh, there, an action is taken taking place here. Okay, so the condition has not been met because it's you know quite a bit of a skew here in the order book. Uh, so uh, it escapes an escape uh, away from from the market here. So you can see I put it at eight ticks away, uh, and then um, and the size of one price level uh, here. So uh, anyway, play around with it. Uh, if you if you guys like, uh, you will need to sign the uh, accept the risks, uh, so that uh, you know you understand what you're getting involved with here, All right? But you can see it's tracking very nicely uh, with that liquidity in here. All right, all right. Let's go back. Let's take a look at this here. Let's turn those off for now, and uh, we'll just um, and we'll turn off this as well, so we can look at price action. All right, 
and see what's going on. All right, so we made it down to our 97 and a half. And we're kind of above and below the figure in here. It's kind of a mess. Kind of a mess. Anyway, guys, <laughs> let's wrap it up. Uh, Tom B is, uh, I believe, already broadcasting. If you guys want to jump over uh, to see his webinar, starts at um, uh, 11.30. Okay. Uh, and we will have the um, uh, crypto uh, breakdown tomorrow. All right. So that will be the next event. Uh, it's open mic. It's in the... Um, um, it's the bm dash trade of eight uh voice channel in there uh it'll be somewhere around between two and three tomorrow not sure yet okay but uh i'll mention it tomorrow uh, during uh, j traders webinar thanks for coming everybody uh please subscribe give us a thumbs up in here if you like this video that really um it's really important actually uh to uh, uh, uh mention that uh so uh, uh the thumbs up in here if we look at it, we'll judge if what we want to cover in here, uh, how much you guys like it, what uh, what more to do. All right, so um, yeah, please uh, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Subscribe to the station or the channel here, and then <coughs> uh, you'll get uh, updates and uh, uh, you know information when uh, other events are occurring, etc. All right, and you can subscribe to them uh, and uh, be alerted. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, that's uh, very helpful for us. All right, any more questions in here in Discord? No, looks like we got it. Uh, yeah, join our Discord channel as well. Keep the discussion going over there. Uh, and uh, you're going to get a lot more content over there. It's 24-7. It's uh, we've got some great traders over there. So please come to that. And uh, um, yeah, the, um, you, 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 you'll, the learning will continue. All right. Thanks for coming, everybody. We'll catch up tomorrow.